హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు అశోక్ ఐటీ దిస్ ఈజ్ శేఖర్ జావా ట్రైనర్ ఇన్ అశోక్ ఐటీ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ ఫంక్షనల్ ఇంటర్ఫేసెస్ ఇన్ జావా వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ వై ఫంక్షనల్ ఇంటర్ఫేసెస్ ఆర్ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్డ్ అండ్ హౌ ఎ ఫంక్షన్ ఇంటర్ఫేస్ కెన్ బి క్రియేటెడ్ అండ్ హౌ ద ఫంక్షనల్ ఇంటర్ఫేస్ కెన్ బి ఇంప్లిమెంటెడ్ ఇన్ టు ఎ క్లాస్ let's get started functional interface is an interface which contains a single abstract method it is an interface with a single abstract method basically when you take java in java now we have three types of interfaces it is just normal interface and the other type is marker interface and the other type is functional interface a normal interface can have any number of abstract methods a marker interface in java is going to it is not going to contain any abstract methods it is going to have zero abstract methods and a functional interface is going to have exactly one abstract method which is called a single abstract method in short we call it as sam single abstract method the idea behind functional interfaces is to promote the functional programming in java basically functional interfaces are going to be the target type for the lambda expressions so to promote the functional programming to define the lambda expressions in java functional interfaces are introduced and if i want to create any functional interface it should contain a single abstract method but it can have any number of default methods or any number of static methods also from java 8 version it is possible to add default methods and static methods to the interfaces so a functional interface can have any number of default and static methods but it is exactly going to have a single abstract method and there is an annotation provided that is at functional interface annotation and this will mark that this interface is a functional interface without adding this annotation also we can create a functional interface but after creating lambda expressions in future by accident if a new abstract method is added to the interface it will break the existing lambda expressions so to tell the compiler that it is a functional interface we have to add annotation at functional interface let's see how we can able to write it practically with code so here we are creating one new simple package over here with the name in.ashokit and in this package we are just going to create one new interface and this interface i just want to create as a publisher it is an interface i am creating the interface name is publisher so here i am just creating one abstract method let's say void publish is the name of the method and it has a parameter consider string message since it's an abstract method so we are just going to keep end it with semicolon okay abstract in interface we no need to declare the method as public and abstract by default they are public and abstract methods now this interface is a functional interface so even though if i am not adding at functional interface annotation but still it is considered as a functional interface by the compiler now i would like to provide implementation for this interface so let's create a class and say this is data publisher and this class implements publisher interface now here we are overriding the abstract method called publish and here i'm writing simply sop system dot out dot print enough message now this interface is a functional interface consider if i am adding one more abstract method to this interface now i'm creating one new abstract method with the name publish but with two parameters consider 
two parameters are string message comma object if i create a method like this now this interface has two abstract methods right so this is not a functional interface now it is going to become like a normal interface so but actually i created my publisher interface as a functional interface but now by by adding another abstract method it has become like a normal interface by accident i have added one more method here to prevent this accidental adding of new abstract methods to this functional interface we always want to mark it as functional interface only so to mark it as functional interface then we have to use annotation called at functional interface when i write at functional interface then it is going to give me one error here because this this interface has two abstract methods which are abstract methods but function interface can have a single abstract method so compiler is generating an error whenever i add a, another abstract method by accident so it is preventing that so that if already existing lambda expressions which are provided the implementation for this function interface are not get affected that's why this annotation is important whenever you want to create any function interface you declare it as or you mark it as a function interface by using annotation called at the rate functional interface now let us remove this method let us remove this method now i don't have any error right now okay now i just want to create one default method default void consider the method name is m1 this is a default method the default methods are created in interface by using default keyword default is a keyword it's not an access modifier here it is a default keyword so we can add any number of default methods or we can add any number of static methods also in a functional interface consider one simple sop statement that we are writing m1 now we are creating one static method here we are creating one static method here s out of m2 like this we can create default methods and static methods into the functional interface next now coming to implementation since this has only a single abstract method just for overriding the single abstract method we are creating a class so the other way of doing it is we can also use a lambda expression we can construct a lambda expression as a functionality for this functional interface so lambda expressions are used basically for providing or implementing the functionality for an interface which contains a single abstract method which is basically called functional interface so without creating a class we can able to define the functionality by using lambda expressions so let's consider i'm just going to remove this particular class called data publisher now i want to create a class with main method let's create a new class consider the class is main and this main class is containing main method in the main method what we want to do we want to override the abstract method of this interface that is publish method but without creating a class so that is possible with lambda expression we can provide the implementation for a functional interface through lambda expression lambda expression also used to promote the functional programming this is called functional style of programming so what we are going to do here i can write the implementation for publisher in this way publisher consider publisher equal to the reference variable equal to now whenever you write lambda expression the first start of the expression should be arguments list if you look at our abstract method which has a single argument that is a string type of argument when you are adding the arguments list to the lambda expression so we should start with parenthesis if the expression has a single argument then parenthesis is optional so directly i can write message arrow token then system dot out dot println of message so this is the implementation for the functional interface now i want to call the publish method of this interface publisher and when i'm calling this publish method i should provide a string parameter now that message will be printed by the sop state this is a functionality for publish method of publisher 
so now i want to call the publish method publisher dot publish of hello so this is the functionality of the abstract method of the functional interface so we can able to provide the functionality we can define the functionality by using lambda expression so if i run the program let's see the output is going to be hello let's see the output that we are going to get is hello now here we can see the output that we got for the publish is hello now for example you have a functional interface now let us remove the default methods and static method now let us add another abstract method consider my abstract method is object return type is boolean method name is equals of object o if you look at this this function interface has two abstract methods but still i am not getting any error but from the compiler the reason why we are not getting any error from the compiler is this equals method is matching the syntax of this equals method is matching with the equals method in object class so one point to note here the important point to note here is if you add any method which is in object class into a function interface as an abstract method still it is going to be the function interface only so this method matches to the syntax of equals method in object class so if you add any object class method as an abstract method in a function interface but still it is considered as functional interface only so that's why even the two abstract methods are there the compiler is not generating any error any compile time error even though the annotation is added on top of the interface so when you are when you are implementing it through lambda expression you need to override or you need to provide the functionality only for the publish method and not for the equals method because every class has its parent class by default is object class so if you don't override the method automatically the method from object class will be inherited to our class that's why we no need of overriding the equals method consider one more method we are creating over here consider hash code method we are adding as an abstract method in the functional interface now if you look at this this interface has three abstract methods right now one is a publish method the other one is equals then the next one is hash code but we know that this is an object class method if you add any object class method as an abstract method in the functional interface still it is going to be the functional interface only and whenever this interface is implemented i need to override only the publish method but i no need of overriding equals and hash code they are they are inherited from the default parent class for every class in java and that is object class so that's why i am only creating lambda expression and this lambda expression is to provide the functionality for the publish method so in this way that we can able to create functional interfaces in java which is introducing java 8 to promote the functional programming and with the help of functional interfaces only we can able to implement we can able to define the lambda expressions to define or to implement functional cellular programming into java applications this is how functional interface you need to understand thank you